Brennan Harvey started reading science fiction regularly when he took a uh, book by Robert A. Heinlein home from school. The book was Friday. Years later, it was my story, Kirin Yaga, that ignited his interest and desire in writing. And you can imagine how pleased and proud I am to give out this particular award. Brennan's first story was a finalist in Writers of the Future contest. Seven years later, his story, The Truth from a Lie of Convenience, took first place, a tale of conspiracy and rebellion on the moon. Living in Huntington Beach, California, he has written two novels and is currently working on his third. Please congratulate Brennan Harvey. I did it. I want to thank L. Ron Hubbard for, for creating this amazing contest. I want to thank Author Services and Galaxy Press for keeping it alive um, all these years, for honoring his wishes. Joni Labaki, the contest administrator, for everything that she does, and Katie Wentworth, the coordinating judge, who reads all of our stories, no matter how good they are or how bad they are. Um, Robert Heinlein, uh, Mike Resnick, that's Mike Resnick. Wow, I, um, Eric James Stone, he's the first guy who's like, he's a real live guy who's one of the writers of the future. Uh, thank you for that inspiration. Uh, um, organizations, uh, Uncle Orson's writing course, the La Jolla Writers um, Conference, uh, GLAS, the Greater Los Angeles Writers Society, Southern California Writers Association, without that education, I wouldn't be here. Um, my critique group, um, online science fiction novelist, or SF novelist. Um, my group that I run, the Southern California, or the Long Beach Writers Meetup Group. Um, the people who made this story a winner, Neil Young. Um, oh God. <laughs> Rose Molina, Susan Solomon, Bonnie Williams. Uh, they made this story a winner. Uh, the story is now complete. Erwin Rodriguez did an amazing illustration, and you're going to see it. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, just this week, um, Tim Powers and Katie Wentworth, uh, they filled my head up to here. I don't even know what I've learned yet. Uh, all, all of... All of the judges and the speakers who talked to us, who inspired me, who confused me, and, and one of which left me speechless. Uh, uh, Jordan Lapp, our um, big brother blogger, thank you for coming out and like babysitting us and showing us the ropes. I really appreciate it. Um, and Author Services, the nicest people you will ever want to meet um, for hosting us. And lastly, my sweetie. Um, I've, I've won the Writers of the Future contest, and yay. I've won her heart. That's even more important. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Deva, squeak squeaker, squeak squeakin'. <laughs> What a night. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, in my life as an illustrator and storyboard artist, I met many great artists who have had tremendous success. The most successful ones have shared their secret with me, and that secret is giving back. The more you give, the more you will receive. Illustrators of the future is successful because they give us artists a chance. 
They took a chance on me, and they passed on their wisdom to me. I'm very glad to have had a chance to do the same as a new illustrator of the future judge. Thank you. And now for the, for the most important news here. And now on to the next illustrator winner. He was, uh, when he was young and living in the Bronx in New York, that's where I'm from. I was born there too. Irvin Rodriguez learned the value of hard work and creativity from his father. In high school, a friend taught him how to airbrush and gave him his first paid job as an artist. Most of Irvin's, Irvin's days and nights are spent drawing, which leaves little time for sleeping and eating. <laughs> he illustrated two stories in this year's anthology, The Truth from a Life of Convenience and John Arkwright's story, The Sundial. Please congratulate with me, Irvin Rodriguez. Good evening. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Hell Ron Hubbard for making this possible. We would not be here without him. I'd also like to thank everyone at Author Services and Galaxy Press. They've been wonderful this week. I've had the time of my life. I've learned more than you can imagine. I'd also like to acknowledge the judges, the esteemed panel of judges. They are wonderful, most talented illustrators, some of the best I've ever met. I've learned so much this week. I'm so ready to go back home and <laughs> just work twice as hard as I've ever done. I'd also like to thank my family for the love and support who have given me, you know, just kept pushing me along the way since I was a child to keep working and, you know, kept plowing forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.